So this is my very first unboxing video. Bear with me if it looks so uh, unprofessional. But uh, today I ordered a, or about a week ago I ordered an FT-70 from Radio World. Back east, uh, from back east in Canada. I think it's in Ontario. And uh, it was on sale. So this, the FT-70 and the uh, CT-44, which is an adapter for the mic. And I bought it because I might be able, I want to do a, maybe do some packet radio with this. So it's easy to interface. So I bought this before it, uh, like it usually does the accessories for stuff. It usually disappears way before the radio. And uh, I just got it today. So I'm going to open it up and attempt to show you guys. Again, sorry for the uh, cheap quality production. And I hope it, uh, hope it uh, appears to be uh, clear on the... Uh, on the screen when I uh, um, upload it. The traditional warranty cards and the operating manual. The FT-70D. Eighteen hundred milliamp, uh, seven point four volt battery. Uh, the belt clip uh, the wall adapter the AC wall adapter and I guess a uh, worldwide type of adapter for uh, different voltages around the world the uh, antenna dual band antenna And I take it, a uh, USB cord. Now, this is probably to program it. I don't know if it'll work with Chirp. And uh, from what I've read, I'm maybe a little bit hesitant to program it with Chirp because a lot of these radios have been bricked. I've been told, or I've been, re I've been reading. So yeah, this seems like a normal USB, uh, USB type uh, cable. Again, I'll probably need to charge this for six hours. And, um, there we go. Guess I'll have to enter my call sign and uh, all the rest. But I'm looking forward to uh, using this on the local C4FM repeaters and Simplex. Quite a few individuals have it here in town have this type of radio, or C4 FM radios, whether they're mobile or um, handhelds, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, to see, this is my first venture into digital modes for um, for communicating. I've done digital, I've done packet and stuff, I've done uh, received FT8, I've been on FT8 and stuff, but this is my first into uh, dwell into a actual communications using C4FM or DMR or D-Star or P25 so this is it I will uh, I will test this out and um, I guess this manual will explain lots what to do and what not to do the one thing I've heard is that the low battery indicator flashes but you still got tons of battery left that's what I was been told. A lot of people are complaining that the battery debt life is not as good. But I heard that you can get aftermarket batteries from Batteries America, it is. And there's a fellow in, in Russia, or I can't remember, Poland, that makes um, a battery aftermarket battery packs for this radio that uses two 18650 uh, batteries. Lith, lith, 
LiPo or li whatever they are. Yeah, he makes the case and it takes two 18650 batteries. And though that looks really nice. It's an aftermarket uh, the project he made uh, using a 3D printer. Again, I will get back to you guys in a further video. This will be part one. I just received it today from uh, Radio World back east in uh, Canada from Canada. And this and the adapter, the CT44, came to around 300 bucks. It was on sale till the end of this uh, month. And it uh, looks like uh, it'll be a cool project to, uh, to work with, to work on. Again, thanks, and sorry if the video looks pretty corny, the quality. It's uh, my very first dwell into an unboxing of a FT70DR. We'll catch you later.